What up my friends, welcome back to my channel. Hello, how are you? Happy New Year. I'm so sorry for being the worst friend in recorded history and basically ghosting you guys for the past couple weeks. Just like the rest of you, my November and December was absolutely insane and life just completely got away from me. I somewhat have my life together, so we should be rolling right back into me being a consistent friend that you can plan to see on YouTube. Granted, I am currently standing in a Christmas shirt, so is my life actually together? No, not really, because the Christmas tree that I didn't even get to decorate is still up, and it's like January, January 4th, so there's that. I haven't changed who I am as a person. I'm still a train wreck. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being my friend, even though I don't deserve you. That's what I'm here to say. If you're new, hi, welcome, how are you? How's the family? I am Kate, I am a stay-at-home mom. I have three boys under the age of two. I do a lot of haul videos over here, some hacks. I'm like thinking it's like hauls and hacks over here, you know what I mean? I do a little bit of meal prep, some what's for dinner, some recipes. I sprinkle in a few other things, but mostly we're focusing on you being able to judge me on how I spend my funds in hauls. You know what I mean? I also just try to keep it completely raw and real over here. So if that is your vibe, please consider subscribing before you leave today. Couple things I wanna talk about, okay? Indulge me for a couple minutes and then we I promise we'll get into the meat and potatoes of the video. Is that one, I'm really excited to let you guys know that I recently became a like to know it creator. And so what that means is I have a like to know it shop, which I will link down below. If you happen to have the like to know it app already, you can follow me on there. So my plan on there is to just share my favorite products and it's really nice because if I have a category and multiple retailers that I have favorite products for in that category, you'll be able to just do a quick shop of all of those products in that one area. I just love that. The other thing I didn't know about Like To Know It is that you can actually favorite the item through my page and then you will get a price alert if it drops later. So if it's outside of your budget for right now, but you wanna kind of keep an eye on it, it'll it'll email you if the price drops. So I thought that was really cool. But if you happen to have it, um, feel free to follow me on there. The link will be down below. If you don't, it's a completely free app and maybe something you might wanna check out because some of your favorite creators may already be on there. And then for me, it's just like easier because if I like an entire outfit somebody is wearing, I can just go on there and see everything and how much it costs and all that good stuff. So that's that. I appreciate you indulging me with a couple of minutes there. So now let's just talk about the video itself. First, we start off with our grocery haul, which we love over here, but I'm also including a recipe that we love in this house. Cowboy soup, cowboy stew, I don't know what you wanna call it, but it's basically like a chili, but it's made with stew meat and sausage instead. It's one of John's absolute favorites. I cannot recommend it enough. Every person that I've served it to absolutely loves it. And I found these like cornbread swirl, like Pillsbury situation that you can air fry. And we served that on the side of it and it was a total hit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, my friends, we have a nice small little Kroger haul for you. I just basically had to grab a few things because we're headed into another road trip weekend, another Disney trip. So I just needed some things mostly for the kids. So I grabbed a big thing of whole milk Greek yogurt. I saw a recipe for overnight oats that you use yogurt for kids. The twins are starting to explore more foods. So I thought overnight um, oats would be a good one. I also grabbed some of this shredded cheese. It's going to be for the kids as well. I grabbed four different pastas. Those are all for the kids. They were four for $5. And I love these like little detailini ones for um, babies and toddlers because you don't have to worry about cutting anything up. And then I grabbed a couple of energy drinks just for our ride down or back, depending on when we need it. I also grabbed some gravy mixes. We I just every so often grab these because I like to have them on hand for easy dinners. I grabbed a thing of bananas, a lot of broccoli, a lot of cauliflower, and a huge thing of apples. John and I are gonna try and eat more apples ourselves, but also any of these things could be for the kids. I grabbed some baby spinach because I want to try and make some like spinach waffles for the kids. I saw a recipe online, so I grabbed some of that. And then I grabbed some avocados so I can cut those up for feeding for them. So that is everything I grabbed from Kroger today. Had it delivered, no fees. It's just such a beautiful service. If you have it in your area, it makes my life so much easier. 
All right, and then as a little bonus, we have a small little Thrive Market haul. I basically just needed to order dishwasher detergent. It was on sale, so I decided to get two of it. I've used a few other cleaner, and I do that in quotations, dishwasher detergents, and they haven't performed that great. This one I feel like does the job, and the scent is very nice. It's very clean. It's just strong enough that you can smell it, but it's not like overpowering. I like it a lot. I also grabbed a little jar of sun-dried tomatoes. I like to have it on hand for marry me chicken. That's one of my favorite recipes and we actually just did it in a meal prep video recently which I will link down below. So if you wanted to check that out how I make that it's one of our favorites and it's a crock pot dump and go plus freezer friendly. Oliver has been into like granola bars and stuff. So I saw these Lara bar for kids chocolate chip cookie bars. I like Lara Bar a lot because there's not like an excessive amount of ingredients in it. There's, It's not perfect, but I feel like it's a good alternative and it gets him a little treat type thing. These are for me, these solely mango and guava gummies. These are incredibly overpriced, but I like to grab them every so often. They have three ingredients in it and I don't know. They're just kind of like if you need a sweet treat but you're trying to make good choices, that one's a good option. Oliver loves these little puffs from Lesser Evil, Sweet Potato Apple Asteroid. I don't know. We just, um, there's still a good amount of ingredients in it, but I feel like it's cleaner and he enjoys them. So that's, that's what we're going to do. Just doing our best. Just grab some of this Bonza penne. It's made from chickpeas. They were on sale and I just figured just to have an alternative if we need like a lighter supper or whatever. And then I saw this, this is from the brand Soli, which is the same one as those gummies I like. And it's a organic spaghetti squash that's turned into like a pasta and it supposedly makes four servings. So I don't know, I thought this was interesting. There's literally one ingredient, which is the spaghetti squash and it's organic and it was on sale, so why not? So that's everything. I got from Thrive Market today. All right, you guys, we're gonna get started on the cowboy soup. I'm super stoked. I love making soups. I don't know why, it like just feels like I'm transported into a different era of like using up the things you have. That's how soup feels to me. So cowboy soup, cowboy stew, whatever you wanna call it, it's probably gonna be more of a stew type thing. The main elements are stew meat. So I have a pound and a half of it here. And then also I usually like to use kielbasa, but they did not have it at Aldi. So I got this beef smoked sausage instead, which should be fine. Celery, carrots. The only thing I forgot to grab was onion. I usually always have onion, but I ran out of onion. So normally you'd have onion, but instead I'm gonna sub out some onion salt. So hopefully we get that flavor. I got some full tomatoes. If you don't wanna buy tomatoes, you could just do a can of diced tomatoes. That would be totally fine. Um, the other seasonings we've got going in here is steak seasoning. This is a Traeger blend, cumin and paprika. I also have this better than bouillon beef base, which I'll add to probably two or three cups of water. Over here, Worcestershire sauce, some garlic, which I will mince. And then we have kidney beans, corn, and a can of Rotel. If you don't like Rotel, you could just do regular diced tomatoes as well on that. I'm also gonna grab some cayenne pepper and sprinkle that in towards the end, just a tiny bit. John likes some spice, so that's what's gonna be happening there. Also, I've got these tomatoes. These are not tomatoes, these are potatoes. Potatoes over here, which I am going to peel and dice up. I'm probably gonna do three of these potatoes because they're a decent size. And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna prep some sweet potatoes for the twins. So anyways, Let's get this party started. You guys are going to listen to some music and watch it go down. I will leave the recipe in the description box. People knew her by her will To make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. But she knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day, butterflies so by the wheel. Even though she could knock down and never show.
I totally ripped this off and didn't show you guys, but there's air fryer instructions for these cornbread swirls. So I'm gonna get those going and we'll use these to dip in the cowboy stew, which has been cooking low and slow all day long. Right, you guys thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes with me today it means the absolute world to me i hope whatever you were looking for when you clicked on that thumbnail was delivered to you today i hope i brought you some joy maybe some meal inspiration maybe some ideas on what to add to your grocery list i hope i delivered if i did the rule over here is that you provide me a thumbs up for my efforts and i hope you all have a magical day bye